YouTube viewers, part 14 of the go kart build. Guess what? I just got the rear sprocket. So, it, it, it is a 64 tooth, it fits. I've given it a little bit of slack, not too much. That looks like a lot of slack, but it's not that much. Um, I haven't put the wheel on properly yet. Just do that now. Okay. And, um, uh, yeah, I've attached the muffler, so I reckon that looks awesome, it looks kick-ass, so from that angle, just imagine that flying down the street, anyway, um, Brendan V commented on my old video that I need support, so, you know, I'm, I'm just going to trust him, put some support, I'll put some really strong welds around here, it's not that strong, but the, it's not that heavy, so I reckon that the worlds could hold it, but after thinking of vibrations and going down curbs, I really don't trust that. So what I'm going to do is, you can see there, there's like just the indent there. So what I'm going to do is get just pipe and just put a weld something there to go down and just rest on there. And I'll put like a soft end or something so, so it can't really go down. So even if I push down, it's not even going down. But... Yeah, so got the rear sprocket, touch the muffler, I'm gonna do a support bar. Um all I have to do the brakes. All I have to do is put two bolts in that my dad's gonna get from work. He's gonna get some special bolts because the um where the bolts connect are like right on the end. So I don't know what he's talking about but I trust him. So he's gonna get some bolts from work. I have to attach the brake cable accelerator cable, the kill switch cable, and then it's done. And I'm sure, I guarantee you, I will have a go-kart run video this holidays. So thanks for watching, and keep you updated.